Hello, welcome back. It's Elsie, and today our topic is queer literature, LGBTQ plus literature. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> Sorry. As you can see, I'm wearing, I make like earrings with like shrink plastic and I've got these little um, pride flag dragons. So all ready for today. So I thought today I'd talk a bit about why I love queer and LGBTQ plus literature and some book recs. But first off, I'd just like to give a shout out to all my LGBTQIA plus friends out there. Hi, welcome. And also to all the allies. Hi, welcome. Um, I hope you guys are doing really well. Um, hope you're vibing. And yeah, so as a girl who likes girls, queer literature for me has been something that really helped me on my journey. Um, I'm a reader, so books have always been, if I'm struggling with something, I usually try and find books that have elements of that so you can kind of feel like you're not alone. And for me, like my coming out journey was really me reading books and kind of realizing other people feel like this and, you know... I'm not alone. There's a community out there and they just felt so freeing because when I didn't realize who I really was, um, I read a lot of like Akutan, Throne of Gra Glass and everything like that and they're great but all the relationships in it are straight. So when I did start kind of realizing things about myself, um, it was really, I found it quite difficult to find um, books that I could relate to and thanks to Goodreads and the internet I found some fantastic beautiful um, LGBTQIA plus books that have really helped me kind of realize who I am and embrace myself as a girl who likes girls so yeah um, so I thought I'd give you guys some book recs and everything and Basically, all I was going to say aside from that is I feel like as a reader especially, it's so important to have material with characters that you can actually relate to. And that's one of the really great things about the time we live in now. Even though we have a very long way to go with a lot of things, um, we are getting more um, diverse literature and authors and really getting those perspectives that might we mightn't have gotten 10 or 20 years ago so that's really helpful and yeah so I just thought I'd recommend some books that I've really enjoyed and are vibrant and fun and crazy and just really beautiful so yes you've probably heard of some of these um but I'm recommending them because I absolutely adore them and they're just iconic so the first one I actually don't have many um, women love woman books, sadly, because um, I've got like a pile of them I haven't read yet because I've just been so busy with everything else. My TBR list is so long. It's it's bad, but um, so I don't have many. And also I it, it can be quite difficult sometimes finding more like lesbian or woman love woman romance stories and fantasy stories so um but yeah I'm gonna mention one today that I absolutely adore I think it is so true to how it feels to be kind of confused and coming into your own and realizing you know parts of yourself and it's just a really fun and cute and heartwarming story so some girls do um I don't think this was a huge book when it came out um, it only came out like a few years ago, maybe last year. I can't remember when, but I absolutely loved it. Uh, this book was my saving grace on my journey. Um, it's about these two girls and one of them, she's out and proud and she was kind of discriminated against at this school and she moves to another one and there's kind of like a lawsuit going on with it. Um, and then the other girl, Ruby, She's basically, she's from like a family that's a bit disadvantaged, not in the best spot. And she's kind of pressured into beauty pageants and things like that. And her mother's really oppressed. Like her, 
her ability to um, accept who she is. Her mother's quite against it. So um, these two kind of meet and they grow together and they learn things about each other. And it's just, it's a really beautiful book. And it's good because it kind of shows like both sides of like difficulties and coming out and being out and proud and everything. So it's a really good book. I just felt it felt real and it felt, I don't know, relatable. Um, and the romance in it is really, really cute. Like, love it. I could not stop reading this book. I'm not a huge fan of um, fiction. I'm more into fantasy and stuff. But this book I adored. It reminds me quite a bit of Red, White and Royal Blue. Um, but girl version. And it's fantastic. So totally give this book a read. Mwah, chef's kiss. Love it. Okay. Next, this book will not be for everyone, just because of the kind of genre it is, but the Iliad. Okay, so I've actually got two books here that are about Achilles and Patroclus, but I don't care because their love story is so cute. Um, so this is really good for fans of history and kind of historical fiction. Um, it is Homer's Iliad, so it can be a bit tedious, but basically follows you know the hero Achilles and one stage of his role in the Trojan War and yeah it's cute you cannot tell me like people that say they're not lovers excuse me excuse me when you read this you'll be like they're in love they're soulmates like yeah not for everyone but it's a good story and it's fantastic if you love all the Greek myths, history kind of stuff. So next one is, of course, the iconic, the beautiful and the heartbreaking, the Song of Achilles. <sighs> this, again, is about Achilles and Patroclus, but it starts from when they're children and it's from Patroclus's, uh, Patroclus's perspective. And honestly, the storytelling and the writing is just impeccable. Like this book, it, sh it deserves that prize. That's all I'm saying. It's fabulous. Um, I've seen so many people like when you're on places like BookTok and you see like the same book mentioned, you're not sure if it's worth the read. Um, and I was a bit worried when I first picked this up because some books from BookTok that I've read, I have not liked. And I'm like, how is this so popular? But this is not overrated in the slightest. It is fantastic. If you're looking for something with quite a rich story and really brilliant character development, definitely pick this up. The actual love story in it too is so pure and cute and oh, you'll just, you'll love it. It's great. I've had, um, I've borrowed this book to like, a friend and she's not really into this genre but she loved it and um, that just goes to show this book is absolutely a must read fantastic okay next is one of my favorites and I mentioned this in my first ever video because it's honestly one of my favorite books and book series of all time carry on <sighs> This book is hilarious. It's like Percy Jackson, but for like older people. And it's got like, ugh. it's basically if Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy got together, but Draco Malfoy is not a dickhead. Um, <laughs> it's really cute. It's enemies to lovers. So, you know, of course I love it. Um, and the actual kind of like the our main character kind of, goes through his coming out process and kind of realizing who he is and there's like a really kind of nice message in it and it's not you know you don't it really pushes that you don't have to actually have it all figured out you don't you know it changes and that's okay not to know and I found this book so comforting because I feel like sometimes when you're just realizing that you might be queer or you know gay or something um for me it is a process and you might not know you know where do I fit in with all this when you've only just realized something because it is you know a big change or a big kind of realization so 
this book was so comforting because it really like gives you that realistic thing of you don't know straight away sometimes you do sometimes you don't and that's totally fine like come into it in your own time there's no rush and just be who you are it's yeah and the actual romance in this I can't even I love this book I have reread it so many times so many I remember reading it for the first time and just being like I had to read the second book the second book is great I haven't actually read the third book I know (sighs) that's on my TBR as well I've just got so many books I need to read and honestly I need to reread this because I cannot remember what happened um but yeah this series so good rainbow Rowell, if that's how i hope that's how you say their last name such a good author it's just it's it's basically unproblematic harry potter with vampires and dragons and honestly a girl boss best friend that i absolutely adore her name's Penelope, isn't it? Pretty sure it's Penelope. It's been a while since I've read this. But the main character is Simon's best friend. Oh my god, I love her. I would kill for her. Like, girl, I got you. Yeah, so it's got some really awesome, awesome characters. Um, 10 out of 10. Love, love, love. Honestly, one of my favourites. Okay. And next, we have the iconic picture of Dorian Gray. This is essential. This book, so good. I really like whenever people ask uh, like me with friends that want to get into reading classics, I always recommend reading this first. One, because it's Oscar Wilde. Hello. Amazing. And number two, the writing's really easy to understand and it's actually hilarious. Um, I remember reading somewhere that um, this book was actually used in the trial as evidence against Oscar Wilde when, back in the olden days when it was illegal to be homosexual, sadly. But um, so it's honestly, this book paved the way for so much. And when you read it, you can really feel that, I don't know, sense of, something new especially in this time it's just got that vibrance to it that everything Oscar Wilde writes brings and the characters in it some of them are absolute assholes but the way he writes them is just so lovable that you just can't help but kind of root for them um it's just a really beautiful story Basil Hallward in this book oh my god has my heart. Love, love, love. Um, but the weirdest thing I'd have to say about this was the fact that Dorian Gray was blonde. I always pictured him with like black or brown hair. I never pictured him as a blonde. So that was weird. Um, but yeah, recommend 10 out of 10. Beautiful. So those are all the published books I'd recommend. And then I actually, as you know, write my own books and I write, I try to write, um, queer fiction, things like that. So I've actually got two books. So that include themes of that with the main characters. So Sparkling Ivy is obviously, I've talked about this in a whole video, but, um, it's a woman loves woman, romance, enemies to lovers, Greek myth inspired, magic, crazy extravaganza, um, where the main character is actually girl boss, Abigail Medea. She's my heart. She's my favorite to write. I love her. And she's basically like this witch that just doesn't give a shit about anyone and what they think. So, yeah. And then my other book, Let's Kill Caesar, follows Endymion, who is actually a cinnamon roll. We love him. And I don't want to spoil it, but it's like unrequited love but requited at the same time with this guy. So it's really cute. 
Um, go check those out if you're interested in supporting me, a small author. Um, they've both actually been featured on Wattpad reading lists. Sparkling Ivy was featured on the Romanticy reading list, which is actually crazy. Because um, at that point when I wrote it, um, <laughs> I wasn't even up to the actual romance. But now I am. So check it out. Um, and Let's Kill Caesar has been featured on the Ancient Civilization. No, Rise of Civilization reading list yeah so yeah go check those out and check all these beauties out if you have any recs for queer authors or books please leave them in the comments below i'm always looking for new books to read um because oh my god some of the books coming out are so good like i've i try to follow as many debut authors as i can before their books come out so then i can kind of like when the books do come out, I'm like, yes, I can buy this. I've got like a list. Um, so yeah, exciting. So leave your re not requests, leave your recs below. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys. If you're a writer yourself, please comment below. I'd love to, you know, talk with you guys. Um, it's such a difficult industry to break through. Um, and these days you kind of have to go down the avenue of Wattpad or things like that to actually get discovered or get a fan base to be able to, you know, say to, to a traditional publisher, hey, check out my book. So, yeah, support me, support people in the comments if they post below. Um, I hope you guys all have a really, really, really good day. Um, I hope, you know, you're vibing. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.